Tribal and community members celebrated the life and achievements of Blackfeet native Eloise Cabell as her Presidential Medal of Freedom was brought home on Wednesday. MTN's Keely Van Mittendorp was at the ceremony in Browning and spoke with those close to Cabell. Former President Barack Obama awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Eloise Cobell in 2016, four years after her passing in 2011. Her son, Turk, accepted the country's highest civilian honor on her behalf. On Wednesday, the medal was brought to Browning. This is home for us, for all of us. And you know, it's good to have it back to share with the Blackfeet people first. Relatives say while the medal is home in Montana, it represents a victory for all tribes around the country. Cobell spent nearly two decades in a legal battle to recover almost $3.5 billion that were mismanaged by the Department of Interior. It was the largest class action settlement against the federal government. And to win in their own courts is uh, a great day for victory. And, and uh, like I said in the speech earlier, she is with us. And she's with her people and she's proud and she'd be very proud today. The settlement created the Land Buyback Program, which provided $1.9 billion to buy back and consolidate fractional land interest across Indian country. Since then, the program has paid more than $740 million to individual landowners and restored the equivalent of nearly 1.5 million acres of land to tribal governments. She was a role model for everyone to stand up and say, hey, enough is enough. We're not going to stand for this anymore. We are just as good as anybody else and we're in just as intelligent as anybody else. Cobell's accomplishments also included helping establish the Native American Bank and she served as the director of the Native American Community Development Corporation. Family and community members say her life's work has been felt across the nation and sets a strong precedent for future tribal leaders. Just stand up for what you believe in, be proud of who you are and where you come from. Reporting in Browning, Keely Van Middendorp, MTN News.